What is up guys, John the Retro Bro back again and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Saturn on your Nvidia Shield. The Sega Saturn emulation gets a lot of crap but you're going to be surprised how easy it is to set up Sega Saturn emulation on your Nvidia Shield and how well it plays actually. So on that note guys, we're going to go check it out. We're going to jump over to the Shield. I'm going to show you guys how to get the emulator on there. Um, and how to start playing some games. It's really pretty simple, guys. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, so here we are on the NVIDIA Shield home screen here, and the emulator we want to use is actually on the store itself. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to apps. You're not gonna need any additional apps besides pretty much what's stock. Uh, if you're using the 16 gigabyte NVIDIA Shield, I will suggest using a external hard drive for your games because they do take up quite a bit of space here. So we're gonna go to get more apps, search up in the top left corner, and we're essentially just gonna go ahead and type in Sega Saturn. There we go, hit search. So what you want right here is this Yaba Sincero, okay? Now mine's already installed, just gonna click on that. You're gonna see an install button here. Go ahead and install it, should take a couple minutes. It's not a very big file. But once it's installed, guys, you're gonna pretty much be ready to go. The nice thing about this emulator is there's already a BIOS in the emulator. So once, once you have that, go ahead and exit back to your home screen, go back into your apps and then go ahead and open Yabas and Shero. Now, you're not gonna have any games populated, so what you're gonna do is obviously wherever you, get, wherever you get your games from, go ahead and download them. Plenty of sites available that's, that are gonna have Sega Saturn games, so go ahead and go to Settings, and you're gonna go up here to Select Game Directory, okay? So I'm using my external hard drive here, so you'll see here mine is already set, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna point the directory to your games folder here. Okay, so this is the one I want, storage, A4, DC, BC, A4, yada, 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 that's my external drive, and you're gonna hit add. And once that's added, you can back out, and then you're gonna to go to load game. Now what I did was I selected a Sega Saturn folder that says games, and I went ahead and populated all my games on here. So really super simple guys um, pretty much drag and drop your folders or your games to your folder and then just direct Yabas and Shero to your your directory here it's nothing fancy uh, there is a way to get box art when you get back out to the main screen you can see those question marks um, I just haven't really honestly had a chance to mess with it too much but just just Google you know or YouTube how to get box art and Yabas and Shero for the Nvidia Shield Plenty of videos on there, it's not too complicated. So one of my favorite games on here, guys, is Daytona USA. I'll be honest with you, I've actually bought a Sega Saturn uh, two years ago to play this game because I wasn't quite aware of the emulation yet. So on this one, we've got a queue and a bin file, so I wanna go ahead and activate that queue file, queue up the game, and then we'll be off to the races. And again, the nice thing is I'm using a wired Xbox 360 controller for Yabu Sincero. It is already configured, so you don't even have to go in there and configure a controller. Super easy, guys. <coughs> the arcade. Got to go old school, 3.7 Speedway, go with the Hornet. Gentlemen, start your Got that rolling start. Guys, look at that. Look at those graphics, man. And look how smooth this is playing. I mean, you still get the drawing, obviously, because uh, we are emulating the game. 
But these these enhanced textures, man. Beautiful, bro. Yeah, I remember, man. This, the, I got a see back in the day. I got a Sega Saturn from my buddy. Uh, he bought a Sega Saturn when it came out and just didn't like it. He was like that rich kid, you know, that that like that rich friend that that everyone has, that has like every game console. So he didn't like it, and then the PlayStation came out, and he, his parents bought him a PlayStation. Well, he sold me his uh, Sega Saturn with all his games for fifty bucks, and I got this. I got there was um, the cop game, the the shooter. Why can't I think of a Virtual Cop? That was on there. Uh, a Bug Two was another one. So unfortunately, Bug Two, I I tried to emulate it on here for whatever reason. I don't know how that game's coded or what. But that game does not want to play on any emulator I run it through, whether it's for PC, using Mednafin, or using using it on here. So they make it real simple. Hit select. You can go back and exit. So we'll try a different game here. We'll go to load game. Back up here. Clockwork Knight. I have a bad ROM on here, so unfortunately it's not going to queue it up. Uh, so I have to take a look at that. But um, I, I have seen videos of Clockwork Knight running. Guardian. Let's try a Die Hard Arcade. I know someone was asking for that one. So we want to find that queue file again and queue that one up. So here's another game uh, I wasn't familiar with. I never really played the Die Hard arcade game, so this is kind of like a first experience for me. So again, guys, cleaned up textures. You know, it doesn't have that that fuzz, super fuzzy look to it. <laughs> Looks like there might not be much sound on this one. Because I'm assuming there should be some some music that I'm not hearing. Now I do have my headphones in, so maybe I'm just maybe it's just low and I'm not hearing it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's essentially very little to no audio on this one so very strange um, I mean other than that it's it's running fine so that's <coughs> kind of a bummer we don't have the um, the audio so and again guys that's the thing with Sega Saturn is it's I mean em emulations just until they figure FPGA out or someone makes like some sort of EverDrive for it which I believe there is um, you know this is kind of just the shit you have to deal with when you play Sega Saturn games emulating here but other than that I mean if you just want to play the game to play the game and you're not too worried about audio it looks like it does run pretty well for the most part it does you know enhance textures so we'll exit out of this one go back to our games list here in fact you know what I'm curious is there a different Q file no, that one's not gonna work yeah, so, yeah, it's just one of those things, guys, you know. Guardian Heroes, um, so this one's an MDF file, MDS. From my experience, you want to collect, you want to select that MDS file. <coughs> Whenever I hit that MDF, the uh, sound, the music's gone for some reason, but you hit that MDS and you get the sound and, and the music and everything. So, go ahead and hit that story mode. This one I have tested before. I know this one runs, you know, this is a 2D game. So, this one runs pretty much phenomenal. Hold that L1 button to go past the um, stuff here.
All right, now here we go. Let's get past that dialogue. So much dialogue. Figure out what does what here. So yeah, guys, you can see this game is just running pretty much perfect. So definitely no complaints with this one. This was another one that got asked of me to to experiment with in the Retro Bro Force Facebook page. Check that Facebook page out guys if you if you're not a member. I'll I'll leave a link I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. And uh, we'll go ahead and exit this one here. See what else we got. So we'll go back to load game. So one that I know works phenomenal is Panzer Dragoon or not Panzer Knights into Dreams. Alright guys, here we go, here we go. Of course you can get this game on, you know, uh, to see it. I knew it. I had a save file on here. You can't get this game obviously on the 360. <coughs> but if you don't have a 360, you can play it on your shield. Look at that, guys. I mean, <laughs> this almost looks as good as the 360 version when you're playing with those enhanced graphics. I mean, you got full sound on this one. But, you know, not the hardest game to emulate, obviously. But, uh... It is, it is a fun one. And I'm actually... Activate my... Enable... We're going to enable our analog control here. Let's see if it's going to enable it. Nope. Ah. I don't know why it kicked me out, but should have just stuck with the D pad. But yeah, guys, as you can see, that one does work as well. So another one on here. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, let's do this last one. All the Sonic Jam. I mean, if you really want to play Sonic Jam and Sonic R, uh, you know, be my guest. Uh, Radiant Silver Gun. I'm, I believe this one. I don't think I've yeah. This one another bad ROM here. Looks like this one doesn't want to load either. So I have to go back. Oh, it's gonna load from the bin file. Okay. It's, it might just be sound if I load that. Oh, here we go. Okay. That makes me want to go back and retest um, clock uh, clockwork night night clockwork or whatever it's called. Okay, yeah, this is the shooter one. This this one's a great this is a great game. I have played this one before. Yeah guys, look at that. Great top down shooter. Let's see if we can enable our analog this time. Nope, does not want to enable the analog here. Hopefully it's gonna let me. Nope. Alright, so for whatever reason doesn't want to enable my analog. So we'll just play with the D-pad for now. I mean, after all, you know, that's all all you had on a Sega a Sega Saturn controller anyway. So I guess you're getting the, the real feel experience if you choose the D-pad. So I suppose it's not the end of the world. But uh, I have gotten it to work in games like Panzer Dragoon. Maybe it's just not compatible with some of the games. Yeah, this looks so much better than the Saturn version. I mean, if you were to hook up a Sega Saturn on your on your HD television, it's just going to look like shit. So this is definitely, I mean, 
This is definitely the way to go if, if you're not playing on original hardware, in my opinion. I mean, of course, original hardware always is going to be the best bet when it comes to Sega Saturn, but this is definitely a good, I would say, you know, I get about 70%. I, but 70% of the games I usually wind up finding will play. Uh, of course, that 30% is usually the ones you, like, really want to play. Unfortunately, like, Bug 2, you know. If, if this one didn't play, but Bug 2 played, I'd, I'd be a little bit happier. But, you know, everybody has their different, you know, styles of games and tastes of games. So maybe somebody really wants to play this game. This is definitely the way to go here. So we're going to exit this one. In fact, I'm going to check Clockwork Night now. Yeah, it's strange. It still doesn't want to load, so... Here we go. And, of course, Panzer Dragoon, guys. This will be our last one on here. And this one plays great. <coughs> I mean, another must-have. I'm not a big RPG player, so I haven't put Panzer Dragoon Saga on here yet. Um, I'm sure it plays. I'm sure it does. Again, like I said, 70% for the most part from what I've experienced. So... You know, it's funny when they when they show this one with the enhanced graphics, man, it's it's really kinda you really see the huge difference between the polygons that they use for you know, say PlayStation One versus the Sega Saturn. I think Sega Saturn they use more of the, the triangles, I think, that had something to do with the graphics, so um, you know, versus the polygons they used for the for the PS one. Another good one I'd love to check out is the uh, Symphony of the Night game, just for the fact that I've never played that version. I know it's not a good version of the game. It's got some of its, you know, it's got its problems, but there is a few extra levels that you're pretty much not going to be able to play unless you play the Saturn version. I mean, they have that new Requiem game um, that's essentially just the PSP translation of the game, but I, I would really love just to experience that version. So maybe we'll do part two of this video. So if you guys do want to if you guys want to you know have some suggestions that that maybe I didn't check out that, that you guys want to see we could definitely definitely make that happen if I get enough comments on here so but yeah guys like I said real simple to set up I mean for for what it is and for how complicated Sega Saturn is for the most part to emulate it's definitely pretty easy on the shield I mean uh, it's harder to get Dreamcast running Dreamcast runs better I would say overall but there's a few more steps involved when it comes to setting up the emulator. This is um, a much easier setup, but, you know, of course, it's Saturn emulation. So on that note, guys, I'm going to bail. So if you guys want to see me test any more games, uh, any more Sega Saturn games on the NVIDIA Shield, just go ahead and drop a comment in the description below or in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, for more videos like this. And, you know, hit that like button, you know. If you uh, want to dislike it, cool. Thank you for the view if you want to dislike it. And uh, guys, check out RetroBroGaming.com. We've got uh, custom Raspberry Pi images on there, free to download if you're tech savvy. If you're not tech savvy, we've got the uh, preloaded ones for you. So, all right, guys, on that note, I'm out. I'll see you on the next video.